advanced cities. Good morning. Uh, today we're going to discuss the early civilizations homework activity that you completed the other day just to make sure you have all the correct answers. Um, so question number one wants to know the five characteristics that a civilization shares. So remember the acronym ants can't take slick rice if that helps you um, which stands for advanced cities, specialized workers, complex institutions, record keeping, and advanced technology. All right, question number two is revolving around this map. So where were early River Valley civilizations located? Probably near rivers. So um, you'll see this map, um, you've got the Nile River in Africa, you've got the Euphrates and the Tigris here in Mesopotamia that made up the Fertile Crescent. You can see this Indus uh, Valley River here uh, in the Indus Valley civilization. Um, so there's basically what you need to know here is rivers is where people started to settle near. All right, so remember about the Neolithic uh, revolution. This me Remember Neolithic means new. So this was a new way that people started to um, interact with their environment. So remember in the past, people were nomadic. They traveled, um, they followed my migration patterns, they looked for food and water, and they couldn't stay in one place because they didn't have what they needed. So once people were able to settle and literally lay roots somewhere, they started uh, cultivating crops and domesticating animals and starting to solve the problems that their, uh, that their world is presenting to them. So in this first video that you should have watched was on um, irrigation. So what was the problem and how did they use their environment to solve the problem? So they needed water for farming and raising animals in area without water. So they solved that problem by um, using irrigation. They brought water from rivers and other natural sources. Farmers created levees to hold back the floods from their fields and dug canals to channel water to the fields. So the next video here was on terrace farming. And um, you can see here, this is the side of a mountain and you cannot grow things on the side of a mountain because it is too steep and um, erosion will just take your plants away. So how did they solve that problem? They created terrace farming in which they dug out large steps into the mountainside to create flat areas for farming. And you can see that here. Um, here's the original slope and they um, made these areas flat and kind of dug into the mountainside so they're able to plant on each of those um, levels. And the last way that we interacted and um, met a need uh, for our uh, self was in mud brick making. So that video, um, in areas with less wood or trees, people needed materials for building. So many civilizations used the mud or the silt from the nearby rivers, because these are all uh, river valley civilizations, and that allowed them to build large settlements. So that sums up um, the three videos. Uh, this next section talks about um, Hammurabi and Babylon. And so here's a picture, here's a map of, there's a Babylon area, and then you can see here that in 1792 BC it was this big, and then in 1750 BC it grew even bigger. So examine the map to the right and then respond to the questions um, below. What geographic features um, our most Babylonian city is located near? They are located near rivers. Um, and did Hammurabi's territory grow or shrink by 1750 BC? We just discussed how it grew. Um, it built up Babylon to act as the ruling city of Mesopotamia, and it built up cities along the rivers where farming can flourish. So the last section was a reading passage, and it wanted you to identify three ways Hammurabi united uh, Mesopotamia. So <clears throat> if you read this paragraph right here, it says that he united um, all of Mesopotamia under the rule of Babylon. Uh, Babylon was the largest city in the world. He created a powerful empire by extending Babylon's control over Mesopotamia through a series of wars against neighboring kingdoms. So military conquest is one way that he uh, was able to create um, power or maintain power. He was also an efficient ruler. He created stability after a turbulent time and transformed disconnected, disconnected city-states into an empire that spanned the Fertile Crescent of Mesopotamia. He also had things, um, I'm sure you've heard of Hammurabi's Law Code, which is like the first written law code, um, and we know that this is something that we need in order to maintain peace and calm the chaos of everybody that's living all in one area. Um, also, some examples of how he was able to consolidate or create stability within his um, empire was that he he, um, was implementing uh, policies that were maintaining peace and he was trying to encourage prosperity. So he also was c 
creating some boundaries or protection for them behind I mean, the walls of the city. And then they were able to work on public works such as building temples and canals.